Thanks, Hillary. The summer months offer children and families a chance to unwind and enjoy time together. But education research shows that during their time away from the classroom, kids can lose as much as one to three months of progress in reading and math skills. Local schools and organizations host a variety of programs designed to help children avoid the summer brain drain. We recently visited a day camp at Valparaiso University that offers to immerse children in an educational and cultural experience like no other. For many Americans, summer camp brings to mind visions of being outdoors, creating arts and crafts, singing songs, and eating fun foods. For a group of students in Valparaiso, camp includes all these things, but with a very worldly perspective. Yang is lamb, and then zhu, pork, anything else? Mm -hmm. Two, yes, the rabbit. Mio is uh, beef. The Chinese Immersion Summer Camp at Valparaiso University brings together students from across the region to study beginning and intermediate Mandarin Chinese. Uh, we're open like to third grade students and up to all the adults. The program, founded three years ago, teaches much more than language. Instructor Chen Ji Zhang, or Bryce to his students, says it's a two-week journey into Chinese culture. We did a lot of cultural activities, like we let the students do Chinese calligraphy, like to write the Chinese character in the brush, with the brush and ink. And then we also invite some like guest teacher, like to um, help the students learn how to paint, you know, like Chinese style painting. Yeah, then we also um, did some paper cutting, like paper folding, like the Chinese traditional way. Camper Anna Beicher is a recent graduate of Valparaiso High School who plans to major in international studies in college next fall. It's just something that we're not really we're not really taught much about like East Asian culture you know and so I thought it was really interesting because I, I didn't know anything about it. It's so different from English you know it's so much fun to learn the, the um, characters and what they mean and then you can start to recognize them and then you feel like really smart because you can read that and so it's, it's neat. <laughs> Maya Nickerson, a student from New Prairie High School in St. Joseph County, came to camp with over two years of Mandarin studies under her belt. With my school, I went to China in 2011, and then about a year later, I realized like I really liked it and I wanted to study it. Um, so then when I was in eighth grade, I started studying it. On this day, campers are learning to make traditional Chinese dumplings, led by Jimin Lin, chair of the university's Chinese and Japanese studies program and founder of the camp. I think learning language is not just sitting in the classroom, you try to interact, you try to learn the culture. Uh, I think language is a life experience, so you wanted to integrate classroom learning with games, practices, Tai Chi, and all kinds of things. That's because that's the total totality of that e e experience is what makes languages uh, stick in the minds of the kids. Most schools here don't offer Chinese, although we have been trying to expand the language program. We have about uh, more than a dozen schools in Northwest Indiana offer Chinese, but primarily in high schools. So we wanted to have the you know, program available for kids from early on. Professor Lin is also working to bring more Asian studies opportunities to local schools. In the meantime, he says summer camp is a great place to get children excited about the world outside of Indiana. I think this is an opportunity for the kids to uh, not really to master language, but to know what the foreign language is about, have fun, and develop the interest. That's the primary interest, uh, goal for this program. Not every school is offering Chinese, and then the kids are so busy during the school year. So for the summer, they, they will have like time, and the, the parents could take them you know, in the morning to the camp, and uh, they can pick them up after the camp is done every day. So I think it's perfect timing to do it in the summer. Chinese is really awesome, and uh, you know, like, give it a chance.